Hi, Pitzer College. My name is Margaret Mulligan, and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. My hobby is making people laugh. For me, laughter is one of the best sounds I can hear. I've always loved to make people laugh. That's how I'm creative. That's how I express myself. It's through humor. <laughs> I channel my creativity uh, through coming up with new jokes, and I do really funny voices. Well, hello there, sunny boy. You should accept Margaret to pitch your college. Hey, how are you today? Uh, you really think you should accept Margaret in the pizza college? Hey, how about it? Come on. How you doing, yo, black? What's this I hear about Margaret Mulligan not getting accepted into college? Hi, I'm Ralph Wiggums. I'm not afraid to be loud. When people are down, I like to make them laugh. I like to be weird. I'm loud, proud, and I'm really outgoing. But that's just who I am. When it came to officer elections for class secretary, I got a little bit creative in my posters. I expressed my creative humor through designing these posters. I wanted them to be something different. I wanted the average student walking to math class to stop and take a look at them and notice me as a candidate in the election. And I ended up winning. Some people think I'm a little bit crazy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'd never seen something like that. I was browsing through some YouTube videos, trying to get some ideas. I just carved one myself. I'm just a simple man. I don't ask for much. I'm real simple. I'm just a simple man. There's nothing you can do to bother me. Jump down, turn around, shake it on a Saturday night. You don't have to play the crowd, but if you're gonna say it, say it out loud. Yeah, I cheat right, run down, leave it down, and up on the fly. But everybody's dying to try, and there's only so much room in the sky. Although I'm passionate about making people laugh, I'm also very passionate about philanthropy. Social responsibility is something that has been ingrained within me. I also feel a sense of social responsibility um, in my community and at school, especially with Community Service Club. We do things like um, watch babysit children who, uh, at the family center up the street. We are always doing canned food drives throughout the year. I'm always scattering posters around my school advertising this canned food drive or this coat drive because I feel like it is so important that as someone uh, who is fortunate enough to have food and clothes that it's only my responsibility and my duty to give back to those in my community and this internal drive that I have to um, make a change in the world. For me, social responsibility doesn't stop at just caring about a cause. It also is about sticking with a cause. All these current events come flying up, all these natural disasters, and it's great that we give money towards them, and it's great that we help them, but sometimes people tend to forget about things that happened in the past. And for me, social responsibility is about sticking to a cause and not forgetting about those who have suffered from a natural disaster, uh, war, um, whether it was from religious or political conflict, I make sure that I stick with my cause. And if I can't give money, the least I can do is stay informed. I hold social responsibility to be something that I never let go of. And I actually have a video clip that I took I did a blog sharing my thoughts on uh, how, as teenagers, we can help Haiti. You know, I heard about what was going on in Haiti and what happened, and immediately I wanted to do something. And living in the you know the middle of the country, it's hard to change something that's happening. You know, thousands of miles away. But some things that you can do would be to text Haiti to nine zero nine 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 on your cell phone. And what that does is it donates $10 to the Red Cross. There was a girl who was 15 who 
I felt a personal connection with because we're the same age and she was stuck under a giant slab of concrete and had to listen to death around her. And she told herself that she wasn't going to die and that she was going to stay strong. And the fact that she did that is completely amazing because so many people would have just given up. Right now, figuring out what people need is impossible because they need everything. And 80% of the country was already in poverty. So remember to stay informed and um, keep all the families of everyone in the world who's there now and everyone who has lost someone or is, who is looking for someone that they love or looking for someone that they can help save. Please keep them in your prayers and please think about them. My favorite quote is, if not you, who? If not now, when? I heard the quote a couple years ago and it's something that I wake up thinking about. If we don't do something now, when is it going to get done? The moment is now. The moment has always been now for change. It's not just because we're on the brink of a uh, global warming crisis or because of all the famine and the drought. It's, it's, it's not because of that. It's, it's all about um, making change now. That's always what it's been about. And I feel that no matter where I go, what I do, I'm always going to be someone who's acting and always someone who's making change and bringing leadership to wherever I go because that's just who I am. I want to go to a school filled with doers, filled with people committed to making a change in the world. I know that more than anything I've ever wanted, it's to find a place where I could be Margaret. I know that at Pitzer College, I will be able to do that. Want that looks to, horrible. I want them to know I am. Are you gonna outgoing. edit this stuff out? Yes, I'm gonna edit some of it.